Welcome everyone. We're here today to talk about our urgent care clinics and I have Dr. Russell with me and I'm going to ask him to introduce himself. Hi, I'm Kelly Russell. I am the new Associate Urgent Care Medical Director and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Great. So um, let's start with some questions. What are the differences in what is offered in urgent care and in the emergency department? Excellent question. So the way I like to think of the difference or the distinction between urgent care and emergency medicine is pretty simple. If you think you're having a life-threatening event or emergency, then urgent care certainly isn't the place for you. Certain conditions or diseases I'm talking about or strokes, um, heart attack, or even severe abdominal pain. I would even venture to go a step further and say that if you're having any of those conditions, I would beg you to call 911 as opposed to trying to drive yourself or have a family member try to drive you to the emergency department. Conditions that are actually uh, suitable for urgent care would be the following. Mild to moderate uh, allergies, mild to moderate asthma, minor cuts or wounds, insect bites, earaches, migraines, also broken bones, as long as there's no skin penetration or a visible bone. Um, those would all be conditions that would be suitable to be seen in urgent care. Now on the flip side, uh, other conditions that would be suitable for the emergency department would be the following. So severe asthma, severe allergies to the point where a person may need oxygen support, severe head trauma where a patient may need neuroimaging or a brain scan of some sort, vaginal bleeding during pregnancy. These are all conditions that would be suitable in the emergency department. Okay, so let's say you have a primary care that you already go to. Um, when should you try to schedule an appointment with your clinic versus going to urgent care? The way I like to think about it, any time that continuity of care seems to come into, the, into question, you should first off think about seeing your regular provider or your primary care provider. The reason being is they have intimate knowledge of you as opposed to an urgent care provider. What we're best at is taking an acute issue in a very finite period of time and treating that acute issue only. Now, what do I mean by conditions that would require uh, continuity of care? Well, I'm speaking of things like diabetes, whether controlled or uncontrolled, hypertension or high blood pressure, again, controlled or uncontrolled, or even um, follow-up visits after a hospital stay. Your regular provider has intimate knowledge of you, of your labs, of treatments that have worked and that have not have worked. So in those conditions, because they have spent the time, they would be best suited to see you in those particular instances. Okay. So Valley has what's called an upper respiratory infection or URI clinic right now at one of our urgent cares at North Benson, and we're hoping to open another one in the future at our Covington clinic. Can you tell us more about what the URI clinic offers and when a patient should go to a URI clinic? Certainly. So our URI clinics were born out of concern for both patient and staff safety. With the advent of the COVID pandemic, we had to rethink how we were treating patients, how we're taking care of patients, and how we can still address the needs of those patients that have cold-like symptoms or COVID-like symptoms, which would be your cough, flu-like symptoms, sinus congestion, bronchitis, or any of those, or sore throat even. So what has happened or what we've ended up doing is, um, as you've mentioned, we have one of our URI clinics is currently open at our North Vincent site. It is a clinic that is housed within our established urgent care where we see patients with those cold-like symptoms or if there's concern that they have COVID-like symptoms. The nice thing about that is they're totally isolated from our general urgent care population so that both populations can be treated uh, without the concern uh, or the, the concern that one may spread if they do have COVID uh, to others. And I would also add that makes our clinics very unique. Once they actually are seen there, we're addressing all of the issues 
uh, that I just mentioned. We'll also, if it's medically indicated, we'll do a COVID test there on site. What we're hoping to do in the near future is we're hoping to have same day COVID testing with the capability of giving a patient an answer before they leave uh, or the visit is concluded within about 15 minutes. Not there yet, but that's what's coming down the pipeline. Okay, great. And Val has now started another new option for urgent care um, called video visits or telehealth. Uh, can you tell us how those work? Yes. So our telehealth or virtual visits, which you can that which can be conducted uh, with you in the comfort or safety of your home. You'll see the same urgent care provider that you would see if you came in person to one of our locations. The only difference, again, is that you're in the safety of your home or the comforts of your home. Now, in order to have those visits, you need a few things in place. You need a MyTurn account, specifically with Valley Medical Center. It can't be one with another health organization. It has to be with Valley Medical Center. You also need a mobile device or a computer that, is, that has Zoom capabilities. You also need to be 18 years of age or older. And finally, you need to be a resident of the state of Washington. And at the time of the visit, you need to be present in the state of Washington. Now, as far as conditions that we treat uh, over these uh, telemedicine visits or virtual visits uh, would be the following, a UTI or a urinary tract infection, mild URI symptoms. So the, some of those same symptoms that I mentioned er earlier, a cough, mild fever, um, flu-like symptoms, sinus congestion, or bronchitis, mild scrapes, uh, bruises, uh, joint pain, mild strains or sprains would all be uh, conditions that would be suitable for telemedicine. Okay, great. And then uh, finally, what can you tell us about the high standards and the patient-centered care that you can expect if you come to a Valley Urgent Care Clinic? Great question. When I think of the high standards and patient-centered care that we offer at our urgent cares, I look no further than patient safety, especially in the midst of a pandemic, which we're going through right now. Um, what we've had to do is to rethink how we see patients. And um, one of the ways, which I've already mentioned, is we try to stratify our patients by using our URI clinics. Uh, again, those are clinics where patients are isolated from our general population so that we don't have commingling of patients, so that patients can be seen in each of those locations without having to worry about whether or not if they do have COVID, if, it's, if they're transmitting that to other patients. Also, we do persistent screening from the time for every patient, every time it comes to the door to make sure that they're going into the right clinic. Again, those URI clinics have separate entrances. They enter and exit through different doors, so there is no commingling of patients. Um, and also, I would add that I find that that is not only healthy for the patient, but it also uh, offers great morale for staff and providers alike so that everyone can make sure that they're having the best experience. Patients uh, are able to be seen, hopefully with less anxiety, and providers and staff are able to do their jobs with a little bit less worry. We can't remove every risk because there's inherent risk in being a healthcare provider, but we are certainly doing our best to minimize them to the best of our ability. Great. Thank you so much. Anything else that you'd like to tell us um, so that patients can find a, a, your urgent care clinic to go to? Yes. So we have several locations throughout the area. We have a North Benson Clinic, a Ridden Landing Clinic, one in Covington, as well as Maple Valley as our physical sites right now. You can go to valleymed.org. And if you go to the upper hand columns, there are you can click on wait times. And actually get in line at one of our clinics. If you want to do a virtual visit, go to your MyChart account and you'll be able to sign up there for a virtual visit as well. We look forward to seeing you and serving you to the best of our ability. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.